I'm Caleb Lamb with our Oxford Plains Dragway Car and Driver Spotlight. And this week we're talking with Jeff Ronfelt, driver of the 1966 Chevelle, which is currently running third in our street division standing. So far it has been a very good start to the season for you, Jeff. So far. We'll see how it goes. Well, that's very foreboding, but it has been a, a good start. You've been able to get some great runs out of this car. In the street division, the toughest one so far. We've had car counts over 40-plus cars in each of the first two weeks of the season. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been really good up here. The car count's been great. Uh, a lot of strong competition. Uh, we'll see how it goes for the rest of the season. Hopefully it stays that way. Now, here on O'Reilly Auto Parts night for week three of the championship series, uh, you have a little bit more of a connection than you know, most drivers who might grab a part or two actually work at the O'Reilly Auto Parts uh, uh, setting down in Portland, I believe. That's correct. Yeah, I run the uh, wholesale department down at the Portland location. Uh, it's a hub store, which means the inventory is uh, considerably larger than most of the other stores, and uh, things have been going really good down there. We've been... Uh, really getting out there and promoting the business and that seems to be taking off. Now I think that means that there's a little bit more pressure on you this week to do well on the sponsors night. You got to keep that going, correct? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I, I don't think they'd uh, really uh, like it if I uh, was out of here pretty early tonight. <laughs> so you'll definitely be having to buy back in then if uh, if the first round doesn't go your way. Yeah, I definitely think so. All righty. Now also uh, not only are you doing well on the points, and you're running on your sponsors' night, but you had some pretty, uh, pretty big doings last weekend after the races finished up on Friday. You had your wedding the next day. Tell us uh, how that went after a night of drag racing. Yeah, we uh, we got married on Saturday. Uh, we did it up on uh, Hackers Hill in Casco. Uh, you can see Mount Washington and Sebago Lake. It was a beautiful day, and uh, it was great. Now, you have to tell me about the car here as well, the 1966 Chevy Chevelle. And I believe you've been coming here to the uh, the dragway for now your fourth season. Uh, and has this been the car of choice for each of these years? Yeah, I started coming here in 98 uh, when I was in high school. I had a car uh, had a car just like this. Um, and off and on, you know, throughout the years. And I just started running uh, full time here uh, in 2013. Give us uh, maybe just one tip or one pointer on what it takes to do well in bracket racing in the street division here at Oxford Plains Dragway. Basically, you got to be as consistent as possible um, to be good at bracket racing. you got to have good reaction times. Um, and that's basically what it boils down to. You want to try and, if you've got a car that can spin the tires, you know you want to try and put some sticky tires on it because obviously uh, spinning the tires is not going to help your reaction. Uh, but that's basically it, um, just basically being consistent and knowing the car. Excellent. Well, that is the pointer from the man currently sitting third in a very competitive division. Jeff, thank you very much thank for you. your time. This has been our Oxford Plains Dragway Car and Driver Spotlight.